Hey you guys, so we are wrapping up 2019 y'all. You have to excuse my voice. It's late in the evening, my voice deepens. <laughs> So we're wrapping up 2019 and I just want to do a quick video of a year in review, go over some hits and some misses and what to expect from my channel in 2020. So this year guys has been very surprising for me. Um, we started off the year entering a little mishap from December around this time actually last year. Um, those of you who are new to my channel, last year around this time, I went to go see my stylist or a stylist or let pender and she made a little comment about my split ends so i immediately went home and decided to cut my hair and i cut my hair choppy i have experience with trimming my ends i've always trimmed my ends i prefer to do it myself because one inch to a stylist is like four inches in my opinion so i always have trimmed my trimmed my own hair but long story short I chopped my hair off and then she had to do a corrective cut. I decided to go from there and went on this journey of growing my hair out, which I think I've done pretty well. I have not measured my hair, so I'm not sure where I'm at now, but we got some length. Yeah, it's not as long as it was around this time last year but overall i'm very happy with the health of my hair it looks great it feels good natural looking shine and sheen to it this um this right here is from uh mini twist being taken down this is what the back of my hair looks like now overall i felt like i did really well as for as far as caring for my hair i did use heat a little too much i try to limit heat for me personally three or four times a year. I probably use heat half a dozen times, six, eight times. Um, yeah, so overall for my channel, I gained almost 5,000 additional subscribers. So thank you who are new to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I tried to be consistent with vlog vlogging, but we had a lot of things going on in family life that I felt like I could have done more, but I just wasn't able to. If you notice, I have kind of been straying away from product reviews because by, by now, y'all, I've been natural for almost 10 years. I know exactly what to use for my hair. Um, and unless someone is coming out with just, and it has to be a company that I already have a relationship with, unless someone is coming out with a banging product, I really am not interested in trying any new products on my hair. If you notice, the product reviews that I have been doing have mostly been comparison videos on my channel, at least for this year. That's not to say I haven't done any product reviews. Clearly I have this year, but I guess my point is I've more so been, um, leaning towards comparison videos of products I've already reviewed, okay. Um, so hits and misses, let's just start off with the bad girl. <sighs> Most unimpressed product would have to be, I have notes here, would have to be the Cantu texture line, it's a tie, between the Cantu texture line and Curl's Daughter Cocoa Cream Mask. When I told you that product dried my hair out, y'all tried to warn me, you really did, but I wanted to support the sister and L'Oreal, but it just dried out my hair, and so, yeah. Um, my favorite products of this year, again, not, I didn't really use or try a lot of new products, but my two favorite products this year would have to be Mish Styling Product and VO5's Sulfate Free Shampoo and Conditioner, which they no longer make. I am fit to be tied, girl. VO5 no longer carry those products, and they were up there for me. I mean, it rivaled some of uh, Suave's Almond Butter and Shea as far as a conditioner or co-wash. So yes, those are my two favorite products of this year. Um, and I know I'm going fairly fast, but it's late, so. What to expect for next year? So I've been kind of hinting in my vlogs that I will be pulling away from making videos. Um, and I've been mentioning that this will probably be my last year as an active YouTuber. And what I mean by that, a good YouTuber, content creator, should be posting regularly, meaning at least minimum three times a week, which is what I try to do. I would not be doing that for 2020. Or as, and as far as vlogs, once a month, chit chat videos, once a month, we'll be going down, you guys, to three to four videos a month, as opposed to three to four videos a week. Um, there are some things that I want to accomplish in my personal life, and honestly, I've been on YouTube for quite a long time. I have, it's been seven plus years, 
I've been at this. I have well over 800 um, videos and I have reviewed hundreds of products at this point. Um, like I see, yeah, chit chat videos, comparison videos. Now there are a couple of reviews that I will not be able to finish up this year that will be rolling over into the new year. You will be seeing those. Um, so be on the lookout for that. So that is it. Like I said, thank you so much for those of you who are new to my channel. Thank you for those of you who've been rolling with me, girl, for those seven plus years. I really do appreciate you. Um, and yeah, you guys, if you have any ideas or suggestions for content that you would like to see, let me know. I'm all for, for feedback and all that. Um, but bear in mind, girl, don't, don't tell me about no new product. No, no new product line. That's not happening. Yeah, you guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.